Welcome back to day two of Gentle Morning Ritual. My name is Ashley. Today you won't be needing any props, but of course if you usually use props for your practice, always feel free to do so. We'll begin by closing our eyes and connecting with the breath. Just taking a few moments to check in with ourselves, mentally, physically, emotionally, maybe even spiritually. Just honoring how we show up to our mat and to our day today. Take a full breath in, let it out with a sigh, and gently open your eyes. Let's begin by interlacing the fingers, pulling your elbows apart, and then pressing the backs of your hands to the top of your head. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades toward each other, then maybe push your arms towards straight. They don't have to go all the way up just to the point where it feels comfortable and like you're getting a stretch. Root down through your sitting bones as you lengthen through the sides of your body and the top of your head. Take advantage of the space you create in your rib cage to take fuller and deeper breaths. Next, exhale, lower your arms by your sides, and then turn to face the short edge of your mat. Take your legs out like bent knees and then slightly beyond 90 degrees. Take your hands back behind you and cross your right ankle on your left knee. You might need to start with a straight left leg to get the cross. And once you do, bend your left knee to whatever capacity you feel enough of a stretch in your outer right hip for seated Sukhi Randrasana. You can go here or maybe go a little bit more toward your hip with your foot and maybe even scoot your hips toward your heel. And just take a moment here to breathe, lifting through the sternum, clamping your heel toward your hip on your right leg. Sometimes it's nice to move and wiggle around a little bit in the pose. So maybe just swing your legs a little bit back and forth, left and right. And switching the cross of your legs, take your left leg out straight, right leg out straight, left ankle over your right knee, and then draw your leg in as close as is optimal for you today. Feeling free to move more in, getting a little closer to your heel. And staying connected to your breath. Maybe wiggling your leg side to side. And take your legs out straight. Cross your ankles, flip over your seat, and come onto all fours, hands and knees. Take your knees a little wider than your hips, your toes together, and reach your hips and thighs back 
toward your heels. Rest your forehead, tip of nose on the floor, and let your arms relax. Taking slow, deep, and even breaths. It can be nice to rock your head across your eyebrow line from side to side. Gentle massage along the forehead. And then come back to neutral. Take your hands outside your ears, move your shoulders back and lift your head up. Slide your knees and ankles together. From here, take your hands over to the right. Turn the left side of your rib cage toward your legs and the right side toward the ceiling. Maybe drop your head into your left arm. You can stay like this, keeping your right arm actively holding you up or relax your right arm on the floor and take your right palm to your left arm. And just take some slow, deep breaths here. Slowly untwist and press yourself back up. Walk your hands over to the left. Then drop your right side toward your thighs and your left side toward the ceiling. Maybe head into your right arm. Maybe drop your left arm to the floor, palm to right arm. And breathe here. And gently untwist, slowly come back up to all fours, hands and knees. Separate your knees and ankles, hip distance. And begin to do cat and cow, rounding your spine, bringing your chin toward your chest and your tailbone through your legs. And on your inhale, reversing the movement, crawling into your lower, middle, and upper back, lifting your chin and broadening your sitting bones apart. Just moving through the transition at your own pace with your own breath. Taking your time and pausing in any places that need a little extra attention. Maybe even swinging your hips side to side, rolling your shoulders, head and neck for a more organic version.
then come back to a neutral spine. Cross your ankles, flip over your seat, and come back onto your bottom. Take your legs out straight. Dandasana. Fingertips outside your hips. Just make sure your sitting bones are even on the floor. Your feet can be hip distance or together. I always recommend in the morning be a little gentler and less stretch than you would normally do. Stay working here or walk your hands forward, keeping your spine straight and pull your toes toward your face for a stretch to the backs of your legs. Feel free to stay here or lean back and bend your knees into your chest, ribs to thighs, then drape your torso over your legs, grabbing shins, ankles, or your outer feet. You can stay here or go to legs as straight as you can keep this connection with your ribs to your thighs and fold, maybe taking face all the way down into your shins, resting your arms by your legs. Maybe holding on to feet, maybe palms to the floor. And just breathe here. From your forward fold, lengthen your spine, walk your hands back and use them to help lift you back up. And slide your hips a little more forward. Take your legs out straight. Again, hip distance or together. Then take your fingers just underneath your bottom and lower your forearms to the floor. You can lift and lower your hips slightly to move your bottom flesh toward your heels. Stay working here or push down through your arms. Lift your sternum, move your shoulders back and maybe throat back, look toward the wall behind you. Couch variation. And lower your sternum. Lift your head, push your hands down to come back up. And then flip over onto your seat. And come into your seated posture. Feeling free to sit up on a prop or just come down to the floor. Once you're in your comfortable seated position, Place your palms anywhere on your legs or in your lap for one minute meditation. Take a full breath in and let it out with a sigh. And join your palms in front of your heart. Honor yourself for showing up for you and your practice today.
Have a wonderful rest of your day.